The way I came up with the idea for The Sweets Companion is because I got a call from my beloved editor here at Oxford, Max Sinsheimer, who asked if I would edit a Oxford Companion to World Food. And a few years before that, I had edited this huge volume for the Council of Europe on culinary cultures of Europe, which was to mark the 50th anniversary of the signing of the European Cultural Convention. It was looking at diversity and dialogue through food. And that was only 50 countries. And uh, even though it was about dialogue and coming together and tolerance, somehow all of the ancient enmities uh, came to the surface, like between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And I had to negotiate all of that as editor. It was very political, but I loved the idea of working for Oxford. And I thought, what do I really love? And I realized I love sweet things. And so that's how it happened. And I think it, it takes obsessiveness and devotion, but it also takes teamwork. Um, that sounds like a cliche, but it's actually true. Uh, I mentioned Max. He was. Uh, nurturing the project from the start. He shepherded it through every step of the way. There are wonderful people here in production and design and all sorts of things who are very helpful. But I also had a great editorial team. Um, I knew I couldn't do this just by myself. So I have a wonderful associate editor, Michael Krondo, and then five uh, editors at large who also helped gather information, think about things, and conceptualize things.